Hi, this is the first lesson on how to use Tableau. Before you get started, you will want to make sure you have Tableau downloaded, installed, and activated with the license key that you'll find on eLearning. In addition, you will want to download the Superstore uh, Excel file from eLearning as well. We'll be using that file to practice. I highly recommend that you practice while following along with if possible or stop and pause and do the steps afterwards. This will help you understand how to use Tableau a little bit better and it will make your project easier. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. I have opened Tableau here. Now on the left, you will see this blue area which has connect. This is a list of all the sources of data that it uh, Tableau can analyze. So you see everything from Excel, a text file, Microsoft Access, a PDF. Now caution on the PDF, it has to be formatted in a particular way, statistical file, uh, actual databases. Now one of the advantages of Tableau is it can analyze and give provide visualizations of using any data set that is greater than a million records. So that is one of the downfalls of Excel. You are limited to a million records. Now, things like MySQL and Oracle tend to have millions and millions of records. So you can actually analyze these in Tableau. For our lesson here today, we're gonna to use Microsoft Excel, but for your Tableau uh, Vis Vista Beans project, you will use Microsoft Access. There is a separate list of instructions on how to attach a Microsoft Access database. You'll find that in eLearning under the VistaBeans project. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Excel and find the Superstore. Now, if you notice down here, it does say Superstore, but this is an already created Tableau workbook with visualizations already done. We want to start from scratch and do our own visualizations. I happen to put our um, Superstore spreadsheet in downloads, so I'm going to open it from here. Now you notice it may take a minute, especially while I'm recording as well. This is a fairly decent sized database, although not uh, really small. All right, so our connection here, it, it says it's the Superstore, and here there are three sheets. So that workbook contains three sheets, orders, returns, and users. For today, we only need orders. So I'm going to drag that to the middle. By dragging that to the middle, uh, it's starting to import the data. or at least analyze this. So here we can see what types of fields that we are uh, going to look at. I'm gonna change this to extract. So this says if my data is updated, the Tableau file will not be updated. That is a big disadvantage at times, but I know right now I'm not going to change this data. It is. It helps it run faster. And since I have Panopto and other things up and running at the same time, uh, I'll take speed over updating. Most of the time in a work environment, you will want to use live. Unless you're trying to make sure you take a snapshot in, in a particular time. All right, so if we look at our data, we can see rows, uh, order priority, discount, shipping cost, the customer, what are they buying, what types of things, where are they located? How many things did they buy? Oh, what, exactly what the product name is, is in there, and their order ID. Uh, if you notice up above, we have, it's either numerical. So for example, unit price is numerical, where customer ID is also numerical. The customer name, however, is text. So that's what these things mean. Now, if we look and find state or city or zip code or postal code, you'll see a little globe. That means it helps define location and we can use that for mapping functions. 
All right, let's go ahead and start our first visualization. And we do that by just going down to the lower left-hand corner and clicking on sheet one. It is asking us to save this. So I'm going to save just to downloads for right now. And that is because we did uh, say, convert this to extract. If you leave it as live, you won't need to do this step. All right, so let's go ahead and go to sheet one. And what we have here has a screen layout that looks a little bit like a pivot table. In fact, that's one of the things that uh, Tableau does best, best is pivot tables, but then converting them to charts. So on the left side, we see our data. So we have dimensions and measures. So each of our columns in our spreadsheet is divided into either dimensions or measures. At the top are dimensions. These are things that help describe what that data number might be. So what date was the order put in? Who's the customer? What product did they buy? You see all of those types of things here. On the bottom, you have your measures. And you see that these are all numeric value of some sort. So discount, profit, sales, we also have longitude and latitude in there as well. So in a way, they are numbers too. Even though they don't show up with the pound sign, they show up with um, a globe. So off to the right, we have our work area. Up here in the right, I have a show me, and we'll use that later. If we want to make sure, have it disappear, you just toggle on and off. All right, so here we have pages and filters. This helps control how we display the data. They both act as a filter in different ways, and I'll show you how to use those later. Then we have the area called marks. This is where we can change how the visualization looks. We can change the color, size of things, text, add details, and many things like that. Over in this area, we have our columns and rows, and what we'll do is we'll drag our dimensions and measures into this area to then start creating our table or chart. All right, so we're going to uh, create our first visualization. Uh, it's actually pretty easy. We're going to take product category, which is up here in the dimensions, and drag it to rows. By doing that, we are adding rows for each of the three categories we have. So we have three product categories, furniture, office supplies, and technology. Now we want to figure out a quantity, and we want to show a quantity as a measure. So we'll go down to measures and drag it to columns. Now notice when we drag product category, it put in a blue pill. Each of these ovals are called pills in any of the doc Tableau documentation. The green ones are dimensions. I'm sorry, I, the product category is a dimension and the green is a measure. So I'm not sure exactly what I said. All right, so we've done that. So this is what our visualization looks like. Not too bad, but uh, it's nothing that we haven't done before or can't do in Excel. Here's where we can start to make some differences. So what we wanna do is take customer segment, once again, from the dimensions, and we want to drag it to the rows. I'm gonna place it after product category. So now you can see that by doing that, we have a product category as our main, uh, grouping and then it's broken down by customer segment. I can switch these around by dragging and dropping and then it has customer segment first and then by product category. So right now it's still just showing a simple bar graph after I reverse those. It's got product category first and customer segment second. What we're going to do is now take region which is up here in the dimension. 
and drag it to color. And this is putting it on, um, on the individual bars. We're gonna take that off, because, and that's the great thing about uh, Tableau. If you do something and you don't like how it appears, we can see that each of the different regions is on the same bar, but I think that makes it a little more difficult to read. So I'm gonna drag it off, and I just do that by grabbing it here under marks and going to any white space. I'm gonna take region again, and drag it to columns. And I do want to place it before the sum. All right, so now by doing that, we can see that we have basically four separate bar charts all side by side. Now I'm going to take region. This time I'm going to drag it by color. And now we have each of the four regions showing up in a different color. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rename my sheet, like I should always do. We do it exactly like we do in Excel by right-clicking or double-clicking on the name and saying rename. I'm going to call it orders by region. From here, I'm going to save my workbook. Pick your directory where you want to save it. And... We'll call it practice one and save. All right, in about 10 minutes, you got a tour of basic tour of Tableau and you created your first visualization.